प्रैक्टिस मेक्स परफेक्ट हाउस द वेदर इन न्यूयॉर्क टूडे एमा इट्स अ बिट चिली अराउंड फोर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज फैर एन हाइट हाउ अबाउट इन सैन फ्रांसिस्को स्मिथ सैन फ्रांसिस्को इज एक्सपीरियंसिंग सम ड्रिजल टूडे Do you prefer cold or warm weather, Emma? I enjoy the warmth, but a crisp fall day is lovely too. Speaking of which, do you have a favorite season, Smith? Definitely summer. I love the sun. What's your go-to activity on a sunny day, Emma? I like going for a hike or spending time at the beach. What about you? Any favorite outdoor activities? Smith Please like and subscribe our channel it will help us to grow I enjoy playing golf when the weather is nice Does it snow much in your area during winter Emma Not a lot maybe a few inches How about in your hometown Do you get a white christmas Really but it happened once when I was a kid Do you think the weather affects your mood, Emma? Definitely. I feel more energetic on sunny days. How about you? Any weather that puts you in a good mood? I love a rainy day, surprisingly. It's so cozy. Do you pay attention to weather forecasts, Emma? Yes, especially if I have outdoor plans. Are you more of a fan of thunderstorms or clear skies, Smith? Clear skies for sure. Thunderstorms make me a bit uneasy. Do you own any weather-related gadgets, Emma? Just a basic thermometer. How about you? Any fancy weather tools at home, Smith? I have a weather station that measures temperature, humidity, and more. Are you a fan of the changing colors of leaves in autumn, Emma? Absolutely. It's such a beautiful sight. Does your city experience extreme temperatures, Smith? It can get quite hot in the summer and pretty cold in the winter. How about yours? Any weather extremes? We get occasional heat waves in the summer, but winters are mild. Do you have a favorite type of cloud, Smith? I find cumulus clouds fascinating. They look so fluffy. What's your take on snowfall, Emma? Love it or not so much? I enjoy it, especially during the holidays. Do you think climate change has affected your local weather, Smith? It seems like our weather patterns have become more unpredictable. Have you ever experienced a natural disaster due to weather? Thankfully, no. Just some heavy rain causing floods. Do you believe in long-range weather predictions, Smith? Not really. I think they're often too uncertain. What's the most unusual weather event you've witnessed, Emma? I once saw a sun shower with a rainbow. It was magical. Ever been in a hailstorm? Smith Yes, it was quite intense. Do you have a favorite weather related movie, Emma? Twister is a classic. How about you, Smith? Any favorite weather themed film? The Day After Tomorrow is a thrilling one. Does the weather influence your clothing choices, Emma? Absolutely. I dress in layers during winter. What's your go-to outfit on a rainy day, Smith? A waterproof jacket and some comfortable boots. Do you have any weather-related superstitions, Emma? Not really. How about you? Any quirky beliefs about the weather, Smith? I always think a red sky at night means good weather the next day. Do you enjoy watching lightning, Emma? From a safe distance, yes. It's quite mesmerizing. 
Have you ever been caught in heavy fog, Smith? Yes, it can be disorienting. Do you think weather can affect people's behavior, Emma? Absolutely. Rainy days sometimes make people feel a bit gloomy. How about you? Any noticeable impact on your mood? I get a bit nostalgic on sunny days. Do you follow any weather-related blogs or podcasts, Emma? Not really. I usually just check the forecast on my phone. Have you ever chased a storm, Smith? No, but I find storm chasing intriguing. What's your favorite type of weather-related photography, Emma? I love capturing the colors of a sunrise or sunset. How about you? Any favorite weather photo you've taken, Smith? I once captured a stunning lightning bolt against a dark sky. Do you prefer a windy day or a calm one, Emma? A calm one. Wind can mess up my hair. How about you? Any preference? I don't mind a gentle breeze, but strong winds can be annoying. Have you ever experienced a weather-related power outage, Emma? Yes, during a severe thunderstorm. Do you have an emergency kit prepared for extreme weather events, Smith? Yes, with essentials like water, flashlight, and first aid supplies. What's the ideal weather for a picnic, Emma? A sunny day with a light breeze. Do you check the UV index before going out in the sun, Smith? Occasionally, especially if I'm spending a lot of time outdoors. Do you believe in weather folklore, Emma? Some are fun to think about, like red sky at night, sailor's delight. How about you? Any favorite weather sayings? When it rains, it pours, seems fitting sometimes. Do you think the weather affects wildlife, Emma? Definitely. Animals often change their behavior in response to weather changes. Have you ever seen a meteor shower, Smith? Yes, it's a breathtaking experience. Do you have a favorite weather app, Emma? I use a popular weather app for daily forecasts. How about you? Any go-to weather app? I like one that provides detailed radar images. Do you enjoy stargazing on clear nights, Emma? Yes, especially in the countryside where there's less light pollution. What's your favorite aspect of a thunderstorm, Smith? The sound of thunder is oddly soothing to me. Have you ever been in a location with constant rainfall, Emma? No, but I imagine it could get a bit dreary. Do you think weather can impact travel plans, Smith? Absolutely. Bad weather can cause delays and cancellations. Have you ever been in a weather-related evacuation, Emma? Fortunately not. It must be quite stressful. What's your favorite weather-related song, Smith? I like, Here Comes the Sun, by the Beatles. How about you, Emma? Any favorite weather-themed song? Blow In in the Wind by Bob Dylan is a classic. Do you have a favorite weather-related quote, Smith? The sun does not shine for a few trees and flowers, but for the wide world's joy. Henry Ward Beecher How about you, Emma? Wherever you go, no matter what the weather, always bring your own sunshine. Anthony J. D'Angelo Do you think weather can influence cultural events, Smith? Certainly. Outdoor events are often planned around favorable weather conditions. Have you ever been in a place with the monsoon season, Emma? No, but I've heard it can be quite intense. Do you have a favorite weather-related book, Smith? The Perfect Storm by Sebastian Junger is a gripping read. 
How about you, Emma? Any favorite weather-themed book? Into the Wild by John Krakauer. It's not entirely about weather, but nature plays a significant role. What's your opinion on climate change and its impact on weather patterns, Smith? It's concerning. We need to take action to mitigate its effects. How about you, Emma? Thoughts on climate change? Agreed. It's a global issue that requires collective efforts. Do you think technology has made weather prediction more accurate, Smith? Definitely. Advanced tools and satellite data have improved forecasting accuracy. How do you cope with seasonal allergies, Emma? I take antihistamines and try to stay indoors during peak pollen times. Have you ever been in a city known for unpredictable weather, Smith? Yes, and it can be a challenge to pack appropriately. What's your favorite weather-related memory, Emma? Building snowmen with my family during a surprise snowfall. How about you, Smith? Any memorable weather moments? Watching a meteor shower with friends on a clear summer night. Do you think weather affects your sleep, Emma? A thunderstorm can be soothing, but extreme heat makes it challenging. How about you? Any weather that disturbs your sleep? I struggle with sleep on humid nights. Do you have a favorite weather-related documentary, Emma? An Inconvenient Truth by Al Gore is eye-opening. How about you, Smith? Any favorite weather documentary? Chasing Ice is a powerful documentary on climate change. Have you ever been in a location with constant strong winds, Emma? No, but I imagine it could be quite unsettling. Do you think the weather has an impact on agriculture, Smith? Absolutely. Farmers rely on specific weather conditions for successful crops. Have you ever been in a city with a reputation for extreme weather, Emma? Not really. I prefer more moderate climates. Do you think weather can influence fashion trends, Smith? Definitely. Seasonal changes often bring new trends. How do you protect your skin from the sun, Emma? I use sunscreen with a high SPF and wear a hat. Have you ever been in a location with frequent dust storms, Smith? Yes, it can be challenging to navigate through them. What's your opinion on snow sports, Emma? Enjoy them or prefer warmer activities? I enjoy watching snow sports, but I'm not much of a participant. How about you, Smith? Skiing or snowboarding? Skiing all the way. Do you think weather can impact mental health, Emma? Absolutely. Seasonal affective disorder is a real concern. How about you? Any weather-related activities to boost your mood? A sunny day hike always lifts my spirits. Have you ever been in a location with a prolonged rainy season, Emma? No, but I imagine it could be challenging. Do you have a favorite weather-related quote from a movie or TV show, Smith? Life is not about waiting for the storm to pass, but learning to dance in the rain. Vivian Green from The Lucky One. How about you, Emma? Winter is coming. Game of Thrones. It's more ominous than inspirational. Do you enjoy the sound of rain, Smith? Absolutely. It's so calming. Do you have a favorite weather-related art piece, Emma? I appreciate paintings that capture the essence of different seasons. How about you, Smith? Any favorite weather-themed art? I like photographs of dramatic storm clouds. Do you think weather affects your pets, Emma? Definitely. My dog gets anxious during thunderstorms. How about you? 
Any pets with interesting weather reactions? My cat becomes more playful on sunny days. Do you think weather can impact tourism in a city, Emma? Absolutely. Bad weather can deter tourists. Have you ever been in a location with constant rainfall, Smith? No, but I've heard it can be challenging. Do you have a favorite weather-related memory, Emma? Building snowmen with my family during a surprise snowfall. How about you, Smith? Any memorable weather moments? Watching a meteor shower with friends on a clear summer night. Do you think weather affects your sleep, Emma? A thunderstorm can be soothing, but extreme heat makes it challenging. How about you? Any weather that disturbs your sleep? I struggle with sleep on humid nights. Do you have a favorite weather-related documentary, Emma? An Inconvenient Truth by Al Gore is eye-opening. How about you, Smith? Any favorite weather documentary? Chasing Ice is a powerful documentary on climate change. Have you ever been in a location with constant strong winds, Emma? No, but I imagine it could be quite unsettling. Do you think the weather has an impact on agriculture, Smith? Tea sounds great. I'm more of a coffee person myself. Do you have a favorite coffee shop in Miami? There's this charming little cafe downtown called Brew Haven. I love their lattes. That sounds delightful. What's the temperature like in Miami right now? It's a comfortable 75 degrees. How about Seattle? Seattle is a bit cooler at 60 degrees. Do you prefer warm or cool weather? I enjoy both, but I lean towards warmer weather. How about you? I'm more of a cool weather person. Have you ever experienced snow in Miami? Snow in Miami would be a miracle. No, it doesn't snow here. Have you seen a lot of snow in Seattle? Yes, we get quite a bit of snow in the winter. Do you have a favorite season? I love the fall, the crisp air and the changing colors. How about you? Fall is beautiful. I'm a fan of spring, the blossoming flowers and mild temperatures. Do you like outdoor activities? Absolutely. I enjoy hiking and going to the beach. What about you, Smith? Hiking is great. I also like biking. Do you check the weather forecast before planning outdoor activities? Always. It helps avoid unexpected rain. How accurate do you find weather forecasts? They're usually pretty accurate here. Do you have any weather-related memories that stand out? I remember a crazy thunderstorm during a summer vacation in Florida. Lightning lit up the whole sky. That sounds both thrilling and a bit scary. Do you have a favorite type of weather? I love a warm, sunny day with a gentle breeze. What about you, Smith? I enjoy the crispness of a cool, clear day. Do you follow any weather blogs or meteorologists? Not really. I just use a weather app. How about you? I follow a meteorologist on social media. Do you believe in climate change affecting the weather patterns? Absolutely. It's a concerning issue. What steps do you think we can take to address climate change? I think it starts with individual actions, reducing carbon footprint and supporting sustainable practices. Do you recycle? Yes, I make an effort to recycle. It's a small step, but every bit counts. Do you have any eco-friendly habits? I try to use reusable items as much as possible. 
Have you ever been in a weather-related emergency? Fortunately, no. Have you experienced any extreme weather events in Seattle? We get some heavy storms, but nothing too extreme. Do you have a favorite weather-related movie? Twister is a classic. What about you? I enjoy disaster movies, too. The day after tomorrow is quite thrilling. Do you like to travel to experience different climates? Absolutely. Exploring new places with diverse weather is always exciting. Do you have a dream vacation spot based on its weather? I'd love to visit Iceland for its unique weather and landscapes. How about you? Australia is on my list for its sunny beaches. Do you think weather affects people's moods? Definitely. Sunny days often lift my mood. How do you feel on gloomy days? Gloomy days make me a bit nostalgic, but I still find them cozy. Do you have a favorite weather-related song? I like, Here Comes the Sun, by the Beatles. How about you? Rainy night in Georgia has a soothing vibe. Do you have any weather-related superstitions? Not really. Do you pay attention to the phases of the moon and its impact on weather? It's intriguing, but I don't actively track it. Do you have a favorite weather app? I use Weatherwise. It's pretty accurate. How do you stay updated on weather changes? I rely on my phone alerts and occasional news updates. Do you have a favorite weather phenomenon? I find lightning storms fascinating. Have you ever witnessed a rainbow after a storm? Yes, they're magical. What's your favorite type of cloud? I like cumulus clouds. They remind me of childhood. Do you think weather affects your productivity? I believe it does. I'm more productive on sunny days. How about you? Rainy days make me more focused for some reason. Do you have a favorite weather-related quote? The sun always shines above the clouds. It's a beautiful reminder. Do you prefer day or night weather? I enjoy both, but there's something calming about nighttime rain. Do you have any weather-related hobbies? I like gardening, especially when the weather is just right. What about you? I enjoy photography, capturing different moods of the sky. Do you believe in any weather folklore? Some are fun to hear, but I don't take them too seriously. Do you like to watch weather documentaries? Yes, they're informative. Have you ever been caught in a sudden rainstorm without an umbrella? Oh, yes. It happened in New York once. Do you have a favorite weather-related book? I enjoyed The Perfect Storm. What's the windiest place you've ever been to? Chicago gets quite windy. Have you ever experienced a weather-related power outage? Yes, during a snowstorm. How do you prepare for extreme weather conditions? I stock up on essentials and make sure all devices are charged. What's the best climate for a good night's sleep? I think a cool, crisp night is perfect for sleeping. Do you have a favorite winter activity? Skiing. The thrill of gliding down snowy slopes is unmatched. Have you ever been on a weather-themed vacation? Not specifically, but I've visited places known for unique weather patterns. Do you like weather-related challenges, like predicting the temperature? It sounds fun. I've never tried it, though. What's your go-to comfort food on a rainy day? Love a warm bowl of tomato soup. How about you? 
Chicken noodle soup is my go-to. Do you pay attention to the humidity level? Yes, especially during the summer. High humidity can be quite uncomfortable. How do you deal with hot weather? I stay hydrated and try to stay indoors during the hottest part of the day. Do you have a favorite beach destination with perfect weather? Hawaii is fantastic for its consistent warm weather and beautiful beaches. Do you have a favorite weather related emoji? I use the cloud emoji a lot. How about you? I like the sun peeking through the clouds. What's the most extreme weather you've ever experienced? A severe thunderstorm with hail in Texas. It was intense. Have you ever chased a storm? No, but it sounds like a thrilling adventure. What's your favorite type of precipitation? Rain, snow, or something else? I like the gentle sound of rain. Do you have a favorite weather-related app notification sound? The sound of raindrops is quite soothing. Have you ever been on a cruise and experienced different weather at sea? Yes, it was fascinating to see how the weather changed as we sailed. What's your favorite weather-related memory? Building snowmen with friends during a surprise snowstorm. Do you have a favorite type of storm? Thunderstorms are both exciting and calming. What's your preferred attire for a rainy day? A comfy hoodie and waterproof boots. Do you have a favorite weather-related app feature? I like the hourly forecast. It helps plan the day. Do you believe in the influence of the moon on tides and weather? Yes, the moon's gravitational pull does have an impact. Have you ever been in a weather-related evacuation? Thankfully, no. Have you ever participated in a weather-related event, like a meteor shower viewing? Yes, it was a memorable experience. Have you ever had a weather-related pet peeve? I don't like when it's too humid. It feels sticky. How about you? Don't like strong winds, especially during winter. Do you have a favorite weather-related podcast? I enjoy the Weather Channel podcast. It's informative. How do you feel about climate-controlled indoor environments? They're convenient, but I prefer natural ventilation. Do you have a favorite type of weather-related art? I like paintings that capture the essence of a storm. What's your favorite season for fashion? I like fall, the cozy sweaters and scarves. Do you have a favorite weather-related quote? Sunshine is delicious, rain is refreshing, wind braces us up, snow is exhilarating. John Ruskin. Do you have a favorite weather-related memory with family? Family picnics during mild summer days. Do you believe in the concept of a perfect weather day? Yes, a warm day with a gentle breeze and clear skies. What's your favorite weather-related invention? I appreciate the invention of weather satellites. They revolutionized forecasting. Do you have a favorite weather-related TV show? I enjoy storm chasers. It's thrilling to see their adventures. How do you feel about climate change influencing migration patterns? It's concerning, especially for the ecosystems and wildlife. Do you have a favorite weather-related science fact? I find it fascinating how clouds are formed. What's your favorite type of weather-related science experiment? I like creating a mini tornado in a bottle. Have you ever taken a weather-related course or workshop? No, but it sounds interesting. Learning more about weather would be fun. Eid. Weather is endlessly fascinating. 
It shapes so much of our experiences. Good evening, Emma. This place looks fantastic. Ready to order? Absolutely, Smith. I'm starving. Have you decided what you want to eat? Not yet. Do you have any recommendations? The pasta here is amazing. I highly recommend the carbonara. It's a personal favorite. Sounds delicious. I think I'll go for that. How about you? I'm in the mood for something light. Maybe the grilled chicken salad. Please like and subscribe our channel. It will help us to grow. Great choice. Now, do you want to share an appetizer? How about the bruschetta? Bruschetta sounds perfect. That's a yes. Excellent. What about drinks? I heard their cocktails are fantastic. I'm up for a cocktail. The strawberry mojito caught my eye. How about you? Strawberry mojito it is. And for the main course, I'll have the grilled salmon. Good cool. I'll stick with the salad. Do you want any sides with your salmon? Let's get a side of garlic mashed potatoes. Can't go wrong with that. Agreed. Now, are you in the mood for dessert? Always. The chocolate lava cake here is legendary. Shall we? Absolutely. Chocolate lava cake it is. Do you want coffee or tea with it? Coffee for me. How about you? I'll go with tea. Now, are you ready to order? Yes, please. We'll start with the bruschetta for appetizer, followed by carbonara and grilled chicken salad as our main courses. And for drinks, we'll have a strawberry mojito and a coffee. For the main course, I'll have the grilled salmon with a side of garlic mashed potatoes. And I'll stick with the grilled chicken salad. To finish, we'll share a chocolate lava cake with a tea for Emma. I think that covers it. Thank you. That was smooth. I can't wait for the food. Me neither. It all sounds so good. So, while we wait, any interesting plans for the weekend? I'm thinking of exploring the art gallery downtown. How about you? Nice. I might catch a movie. Anything specific you recommend? The Hidden Canvas has been getting great reviews. Sounds like a plan. By the way, do you have a favorite movie genre? I'm a fan of romantic comedies. What about you? Action films all the way. Explosions and car chases, you know? Haha, ha. can't go wrong with a good action flick. True. Oh. Here comes our appetizer. That looks amazing. Let's dig in. So, back to our weekend plans. Any other places in the city you'd recommend checking out? The botanical garden is lovely this time of year. Perfect for a relaxing afternoon. That sounds like a great suggestion. I'll add it to the list. Awesome. Have you been there before? No, it'll be my first time. Looking forward to it. I'm sure you'll love it. By the way, what do you enjoy doing in your free time? I'm a bit of a bookworm. Love getting lost in a good novel. How about you? Painting is my go-to. It's therapeutic. That's fantastic. Do you have a favorite painting you've done recently? I painted a sunset over the city skyline. It turned out better than I expected. Sounds beautiful. You'll have to show me sometime. Absolutely. I'd love to. 
What about you? Any favorite books you've read lately? I just finished The Starlight Chronicles. It's a sci-fi masterpiece. Nice. I'll have to check it out. Sci-fi isn't usually my go-to, but I'm open to recommendations. It might change your mind. Speaking of change, do you like trying new cuisines? Definitely. I love exploring different flavors. How about you? Same here. Thai and Mexican are among my favorites. Any particular cuisine you are craving lately? I've been in the mood for sushi lately. The combination of flavors is just perfect. Great choice. There's a good sushi place downtown. We should check it out sometime. I'm up for that. Maybe next weekend? This looks fantastic. Enjoy your salad. You too. The carbonara looks divine. That hit the spot. Ready for dessert? Absolutely. I've been eyeing that chocolate lava cake. Me too. Let's indulge. This looks heavenly. Shall we? That was amazing. I'm officially stuffed. Agreed. I don't think I can eat another bite. Well, at least we won't need dinner later. Ha ha, true. This was a great choice. Thanks for joining me. Anytime. We should do this again. Definitely. Oh, here comes the bill. Thanks. Splitting it. Or do you want to cover it this time? Let's split it. I insist. All done. Ready to head out? Yes, let's go. That was a delightful meal. Agreed. Shall we walk off some of those calories? Sounds like a plan. Any particular direction? How about we stroll through the city park? It's nearby. Perfect. The park is always so peaceful. So, what's your favorite season? I love autumn. The colors, the cool breeze, it's magical. You? Summer, definitely. I'm all about the sunshine and warmth. Summer has its charm too. Do you have any summer plans? Thinking of a beach getaway. How about you? Nice. I'm planning a hiking trip in the mountains. That sounds fantastic. I might need some hiking tips from you. Anytime. I'm always up for a good hike. By the way, do you have any favorite travel destinations? I love the vibe of New York City. The energy is electrifying. New York is on my bucket list. I've heard it's a city that never sleeps. That's true. It's a unique experience. Speaking of experiences, any memorable vacations for you? I had an amazing time in Paris. The art, the culture, it was a dream come true. Paris is iconic. Did you visit the Louvre? Of course. Seeing the Mona Lisa in person was surreal. That must have been incredible. Well, this has been a wonderful evening. Thanks for the great company. Thank you, Smith. Let's definitely do this again soon. Absolutely. Any specific type of cuisine you'd like to try next time? Hmm, maybe something exotic like Ethiopian or Indian. How does that sound? Great choice. I love the idea. And speaking of trying new things, do you have any unique hobbies? Well, besides painting, I enjoy rock climbing. It's a great workout and so exhilarating. Rock climbing sounds thrilling. I'm into photography. I love capturing moments. Do you have a favorite subject to paint? 
Landscapes are my favorite. The play of colors and textures is fascinating. How about you? What do you enjoy photographing? I am drawn to cityscapes, especially during the golden hour. The contrast of lights against the evening sky is breathtaking. Golden hour shots are magical. Have you ever exhibited your photographs? Not yet, but it's something I'm considering. It's a bit intimidating, though. Have you ever showcased your paintings? Yes, I had a small exhibition at a local gallery last year. It was a nerve-wracking but fulfilling experience. That's impressive. I'll have to attend your next exhibition. Any upcoming projects on the horizon? I'm planning a series of cityscape paintings. I want to capture the essence of different cities. How about you? Any photo projects in mind? I'm working on a photo book featuring hidden gems in our city. There's so much beauty that often goes unnoticed. That sounds like a wonderful project. Let me know when it's done, I'd love to see it. By the way, do you have a favorite spot in the city? The rooftop garden at the city center is my go-to. It offers a stunning panoramic view. How about you? I love the Riverside Park. It's serene and perfect for inspiration. Do you have a favorite place you've traveled to? I was mesmerized by Tokyo. The blend of tradition and modernity is captivating. How about you? Any favorite travel destination? Venice stole my heart. The canals, the architecture, it felt like stepping into a fairy tale. Have you ever been to a destination that exceeded your expectations? Definitely Santorini. The sunsets over the caldera are beyond words. Ever had a travel mishap that turned into a memorable experience? Once, I got lost in a small village in Italy. It turned into a day of unexpected adventures and amazing local discoveries. How about you? Mr. Train in Switzerland once ended up exploring a charming alpine village. Sometimes, detours lead to the best memories. Do you prefer planned trips or spontaneous adventures? I like a mix of both. Planning ensures I don't miss must-see places but spontaneity adds a sense of adventure. What about you? Ah, just what I needed. How's the tea? Perfectly brewed. So, any favorite type of coffee? I'm a fan of a good old cappuccino. The frothy texture adds a nice touch. What about you? Any favorite tea? Earl Grey is my go-to. The citrusy aroma is so comforting. Do you have any morning rituals? I start my day with a short meditation and a cup of coffee. Helps set a positive tone. How about you? Any morning routines? I like to start with a light workout followed by some quiet time for reflection. Helps me prepare for the day. Do you have a favorite type of meditation? Mindfulness meditation works best for me. It helps keep things in perspective. Have you ever tried it? Yes, I find mindfulness meditation very grounding. It's a great way to stay centered. By the way, do you have any favorite quotes or mantras? There's a quote by Maya Angelou that I love. Success is liking yourself, liking what you do, and liking how you do it. It's a reminder to find joy in the journey. How about you? I resonate with Rumi's quote, the wound is the place where the light enters you. It speaks to the idea that challenges can lead to growth and understanding. Any favorite inspirational figures? Elon Musk is someone I find inspiring. His vision and determination are remarkable. How about you? I admire Jane Goodall. Her dedication to wildlife conservation and environmentalism is truly inspiring. Do you have any favorite documentaries? Planet Earth is a classic. 
The cinematography is breathtaking. How about you? Any documentaries you recommend? The True Cost is eye-opening. It explores the impact of the fashion industry on the environment and human rights. Have you made any lifestyle changes based on documentaries? Definitely. After watching Food Inc., I shifted to a more plant-based diet. It made me more conscious of where my food comes from. Any favorite plant-based dishes? I love a good vegetable stir-fry with tofu. The variety of colors and flavors make it so enjoyable. How about you? Mushroom risotto is my go-to. The creamy texture and rich flavors are unbeatable. Do you enjoy cooking? I do. It's therapeutic for me. Do you have a signature dish you love to cook? I make a mean lasagna. It's a bit time-consuming but worth every minute. Have you ever taken a cooking class? Yes, I took a sushi making class once. It was challenging but so much fun. Any cuisines you'd like to learn to cook? I'd love to master Thai cuisine. The balance of sweet, sour, salty, and spicy flavors is intriguing. How about you? Indian cuisine has always fascinated me. The aromatic spices and complex flavors are something I'd love to explore. Do you have a favorite childhood dish? My mom's homemade chicken pot pie is unbeatable. The flaky crust and savory filling are pure comfort. How about you? My grandmother's apple pie is a timeless favorite. The aroma of cinnamon and baked apples is nostalgic. Any favorite childhood games or activities? I was a big fan of hide and seek. The thrill of finding the perfect hiding spot was so exciting. How about you? I loved playing board games, especially Scrabble. It sparked my love for words and language. Do you have a favorite word? Serendipity. It has a lovely sound and a beautiful meaning. How about you? Any favorite word? Petrichor. The scent of rain on dry earth. It's such a poetic word. Do you have a favorite season for any specific reason? I love winter for the cozy vibes and the holiday spirit. How about you? Any particular season that holds special memories? Spring is special to me. It reminds me of new beginnings and blooming possibilities. Do you have a favorite holiday tradition? Decorating the Christmas tree with family is a cherished tradition. The ornaments hold so many memories. How about you? I enjoy baking gingerbread cookies with loved ones. The smell of spices fills the house with warmth. Do you have a favorite childhood memory? Family camping trips were always a blast. Roasting marshmallows by the campfire and stargazing, it's etched in my memory. Any favorite childhood book or movie? The Little Prince by Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. It's a timeless tale with profound messages. How about you? Any childhood favorites? The Lion King was a classic. The Circle of Life theme and memorable songs left a lasting impact. Do you have a favorite song that holds special meaning? Imagine by John Lennon. The lyrics are so powerful and hopeful. How about you? Any songs that evoke strong emotions? Fix You by Coldplay. It's a song that resonates deeply during challenging times. Do you have a favorite genre of music? Indie folk has a special place in my heart. The raw and heartfelt lyrics are captivating. How about you? Any preferred music genre? I'm a fan of classic rock. The timeless melodies and iconic guitar riffs never get old. Do you have a favorite place to listen to music? I love listening to music in the park. It adds an extra layer to the natural surroundings. How about you? Any favorite listening spot? 
Late at night on the rooftop. The city lights below and a favorite playlist. It's a perfect combination. Do you have a favorite type of art besides painting? I appreciate sculpture. The way artists mold and shape materials into expressive forms is fascinating. How about you? Photography, of course. Capturing a moment frozen in time is a form of art I deeply admire. Do you have a favorite museum or art gallery? The Louvre in Paris is unparalleled. The sheer scale and variety of masterpieces are awe-inspiring. How about you? The Museum of Modern Art in New York. The contemporary art collection always pushes boundaries. Do you have a favorite fictional character? Atticus Finch from To Kill a Mockingbird. His integrity and moral compass are admirable. How about you? Sherlock Holmes. The intellect and deductive reasoning are intriguing. Do you have a favorite childhood superhero? Wonder Woman. She embodies strength, compassion, and resilience. How about you? Spider-Man. The relatable struggles and the sense of responsibility resonated with me. Do you have a favorite genre of books? Historical fiction. The blend of history and storytelling is captivating. How about you? Sci-fi. The possibilities and imaginative worlds created by authors are limitless. Do you have a favorite book that you've read multiple times? Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. The wit and timeless romance never get old. How about you? Any reread favorites? The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. The humor and absurdity make it a perpetual favorite. Do you have a favorite quote from a book? It is our choices, Harry, that show what we truly are, far more than our abilities. Dumbledore in Harry Potter. How about you? The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Franklin D. Roosevelt. It's a reminder to face challenges head on. Do you have a favorite way to unwind after a long day? A hot bath with a good book. It's the perfect way to relax. How about you? Any favorite relaxation ritual? Meditation and a cup of herbal tea. It helps clear my mind. Do you have a favorite type of tea for relaxation? Chamomile. The soothing properties are perfect for winding down. How about you? Any favorite herbal tea? Peppermint. It has a refreshing taste and helps with digestion. Do you have a favorite type of dessert? Tiramisu. The layers of coffee-soaked lady fingers and mascarpone are divine. How about you? Cheesecake. The creamy texture and endless flavor variations make it a dessert lover's dream. Do you have a favorite childhood dessert? Apple crumble with vanilla ice cream. The warm, gooey center and the cold ice cream are a perfect combo. How about you? Chocolate chip cookies. The smell of freshly baked cookies is pure nostalgia. Do you have a favorite type of chocolate? Dark chocolate, especially with sea salt. Uh combination of sweet and salty is irresistible. How about you? Milk chocolate with hazelnuts. The crunch adds a nice texture. Do you have a favorite type of fruit? Mangoes. The juiciness and tropical flavor are unbeatable. How about you? Berries, especially strawberries. They're perfect on their own or in a variety of dishes. Do you have a favorite type of cuisine to cook? I enjoy cooking Italian dishes. The simplicity and bold flavors are always a hit. How about you? Thai cuisine. The balance of sweet, sour, and spicy flavors keeps it interesting. Do you have a favorite type of exercise? Yoga. It not only keeps me fit but also provides mental clarity. How about you? 
weightlifting the feeling of strength and the gradual progress are motivating do you have a favorite type of outdoor activity hiking being surrounded by nature is invigorating how about you hey emma how would you describe your best friend's personality oh sarah is incredibly outgoing and always brings a positive energy into any room do you think people's personalities are more influenced by nature or nurture it's a tough call but i believe it's a mix of both genetics lay the foundation but experiences shape us what qualities do you value the most in a colleague i appreciate someone who is both reliable and open minded it makes working together much smoother can you describe a memorable personality trait of someone you met while traveling i met this artist in paris who was incredibly eccentric full of creativity and passion for life if you could choose any historical figure to have dinner with who would it be and why definitely elena roosevelt her strength and dedication to human rights have always inspired me how do you think living in a bustling city like new york affects people's personalities it can make them more resilient and adaptable but sometimes the fast pace can also make them a bit stressed what's a personality trait you think you've inherited from your family i'd say a strong sense of perseverance my parents never give up no matter the challenges have you ever had to work with someone whose personality clashed with yours yes in my previous job we had different work styles but we found a way to compromise and make it work if you had to choose one word to describe yourself what would it be i'd say adventurous i love trying new things and stepping out of my comfort zone How does your hometown, let's say Seattle, influence your personality? The laid-back atmosphere in Seattle has definitely made me more easygoing and approachable. What's a personality trait you admire in someone but find difficult to cultivate yourself? Patience. I admire people who can stay calm in challenging situations, but it's a work in progress for me. Do you think people's personalities change over time? Absolutely. Life experiences, relationships, and personal growth all contribute to shaping who we become. What's a book or movie character whose personality you resonate with? Hermione Granger from Harry Potter. Her intelligence and dedication to learning are traits I admire. If you could meet your younger self, what personality advice would you give? I tell myself not to worry too much about what others think and to embrace my uniqueness. How does your personality change when you are in a stressful situation? I become more focused and determined, but I've learned to balance it with staying calm and collected. What's a personality trait that you think is underrated but essential? empathy it's so important to understand and connect with others on a deeper level how would you describe the personality of your favorite fictional character sherlock holmes is fascinating brilliant analytical and a bit socially awkward please like and subscribe our channel it will help us to grow What personality trait do you think is crucial for maintaining a long-lasting friendship? Trust. Without trust, it's hard to build and sustain a meaningful friendship. If you had to choose between introversion and extroversion, which one do you think fits you best? I'm definitely more of an extrovert. I love being around people and socializing. Can you recall a specific compliment about your personality that made you smile? Someone once told me they admired my ability to stay positive in challenging situations. That meant a lot. 
How do you think your job influences your personality during work hours? Working in customer service has made me more patient and understanding. What's a cultural personality trait from your heritage that you hold dear? The emphasis on family and community. It's a bond that I cherish deeply. Do you believe in the concept of a personality type? To some extent, yes. It's interesting to explore, but everyone is unique in their own way. What's a personality trait you've noticed in yourself that you didn't expect? I've become more assertive over the years, which has been a pleasant surprise. How do you handle disagreements with someone who has a very different personality? I try to find common ground and focus on understanding their perspective before finding a resolution. If you could choose any superpower based on a personality trait, what would it be? Telepathy. It would be fascinating to understand others on a deeper emotional level. How do you think your childhood friends would describe your personality back then? Probably as adventurous, curious, and always up for a new adventure. Can you think of a time when your personality helped you overcome a challenge? During a team project, my positive attitude motivated everyone, and we achieved great results. What's a cultural personality trait from another country that you find intriguing? I'm fascinated by the Japanese concept of komorebi, appreciating the beauty of nature. How do you think your taste in music reflects your personality? I enjoy a mix of genres, and I think it mirrors my open-minded and eclectic nature. If you had to pick an animal that represents your personality, what would it be and why? I'd choose a dolphin, friendly, playful, and always up for a good time. How has your taste in books evolved, and do you think it reflects changes in your personality? It has become more diverse, mirroring my evolving interests and a growing curiosity about the world. What's a personality trait you admire in someone but find challenging to develop? Diplomacy. I'm honest and straightforward, sometimes to a fault. Can you think of a specific moment when your personality clashed with societal expectations? I've always been a bit unconventional, and that clashed with some traditional expectations at family gatherings. How do you balance being assertive without coming across as aggressive in your communication? It's a delicate balance. I try to express my opinions confidently while remaining respectful of others. What personality trait becomes most apparent when you are under stress? I become hyper-focused and determined, sometimes to the point of being a bit intense. Can you recall a specific piece of advice about personalities that has stuck with you? My grandmother always said, kindness is never wasted. I try to live by that. How do you think your upbringing in a small town influenced your personality? It made me appreciate close-knit communities and value genuine connections with others. Is there a personality trait you've consciously worked on improving? I've worked on being more patient, especially in situations where I have little control. If you could possess a personality trait from any fictional character, who would it be? I'd love Luna Lovegood's ability to see the beauty in even the most unconventional things. How do you think your taste in fashion reflects your personality? I enjoy mixing styles, just like how I embrace a variety of experiences and perspectives. Can you recall a personality quirk that you find endearing in someone close to you? My friend James has this quirky habit of quoting movies in everyday conversations. It always makes me laugh. How do you approach making decisions, and how does it reflect your personality? I'm a bit analytical. I weigh the pros and cons but also follow my intuition. 
What's a personality trait you think is important for effective leadership? Empathy. A good leader understands and connects with the people they work with. How does your personality shine through in the way you celebrate achievements? I'm modest but proud. I believe in acknowledging and celebrating accomplishments, big or small. How do you handle situations where someone misunderstands your personality? Smith. I try to communicate openly and clarify any misconceptions. It's important to be understood authentically. Can you describe a personality trait that you've noticed changing in yourself recently? I've become more adaptable. Life's unpredictability has taught me to go with the flow. What's a personality trait you find charming in others but challenging to embody yourself? I love how some people effortlessly exude charisma. It's something I'm working on, being more magnetic in social settings. How does your personality influence your choice of hobbies? I'm drawn to hobbies that allow me to express creativity and connect with others, like painting or group fitness classes. If you had to create a slogan that represents your personality, what would it be? Embrace the adventure of life, one positive step at a time. How does your personality affect the way you handle setbacks? I tend to see setbacks as opportunities for growth. It's all about maintaining a positive mindset. Is there a personality trait you've observed in your parents that you've consciously adopted? My dad's resilience. He never gives up, and I've tried to emulate that in my own life. What's a personality trait you've discovered through self-reflection that surprised you? I realized I have a strong sense of intuition. Trusting my instincts has led to some great decisions. How does your personality influence your approach to personal relationships? I value open communication and honesty, creating a foundation of trust in my relationships. Can you recall a time when your personality helped diffuse a tense situation? During a team conflict, my ability to listen and find common ground helped ease tensions and find a resolution. If you could possess a talent that's directly linked to personality, what would it be? I'd love to have the ability to instantly understand and connect with people on a deep emotional level. How does your personality shine through in the way you express gratitude? I express gratitude through small, thoughtful gestures, showing appreciation for the people around me. What's a personality trait you think is crucial for maintaining a healthy work-life balance? Time management. Balancing responsibilities requires prioritizing and being efficient with time. How has your personality influenced the way you handle criticism? I've learned to see constructive criticism as an opportunity for improvement rather than a personal attack. What's a personality trait you think is vital for navigating the challenges of the modern world? Adaptability. The world is constantly changing, and being adaptable is key to thriving. If you could attend a workshop to enhance any aspect of your personality, what would it be? Smith. Probably improving my public speaking skills. It would align with my desire to communicate more effectively. How does your personality influence your approach to giving and receiving feedback? I appreciate constructive feedback and try to give it in a way that encourages growth rather than criticism. Can you describe a personality trait that you think is unique to your cultural background? In my Colombian heritage, there's a strong emphasis on family bonds and celebrating life together. How does your personality affect your decision-making in unfamiliar situations? I tend to rely on my intuition and adaptability, allowing me to navigate the unknown with confidence.
What's a personality trait you think is essential for fostering a sense of community in a neighborhood? Open-mindedness. It's crucial for embracing diversity and building strong connections with neighbors. How do you think your personality has evolved since your teenage years? I've become more patient and understanding, learning to appreciate the journey rather than rushing toward goals. Is there a personality trait you've developed through your experiences that you're particularly proud of? Resilience. Overcoming challenges has made me stronger and more resilient in the face of adversity. How does your personality influence the way you handle change in your life? I embrace change as an opportunity for growth, adapting and finding new possibilities in every situation. What's a personality trait you think is crucial for maintaining a healthy relationship with oneself? Self-compassion. It's important to treat oneself with kindness and understanding, especially in difficult times. How does your personality affect your approach to solving problems in a team setting? I enjoy collaborative problem solving. I bring creativity and a positive attitude to find effective solutions. Can you think of a personality trait that has become more prominent as you've matured? I've become more empathetic, understanding the importance of putting myself in others' shoes. How do you think your personality influences your sense of humor? I appreciate witty and clever humor, reflecting my love for intellectual engagement and playful banter. What's a personality trait you think is important for fostering innovation in the workplace? Open-mindedness. It allows for the free flow of ideas and encourages creative thinking. How do you balance your need for independence with the desire for meaningful connections? It's about finding a healthy balance. I value independence but also recognize the importance of strong connections. Can you recall a specific instance where your personality positively influenced someone else's life? A friend was going through a tough time, and my optimism and support helped them see the brighter side of things. How does your personality influence your approach to learning new things? I'm curious by nature, so I approach learning with enthusiasm, always eager to explore and expand my knowledge. Can you think of a personality trait you've intentionally toned down or emphasized in different social settings? I've toned down my assertiveness in more laid-back environments, allowing for a more relaxed and collaborative atmosphere. How does your personality come into play when you're faced with a moral dilemma? I rely on my values and a sense of empathy to make decisions that align with my principles. Is there a personality trait you've noticed in yourself that has a positive impact on your physical health? I'd say my discipline. It helps me maintain a regular exercise routine and a balanced diet. How does your personality influence your approach to technology and social media? I use technology to stay connected but value real-life interactions. I try not to let it dominate my social experiences. Can you think of a personality trait that has been especially helpful in your career? Adaptability has been key. In the dynamic world of marketing, being able to pivot and embrace change is essential. How do you think your personality affects the way you handle success? I celebrate achievements but remain humble. Success, to me, is about growth and continuous improvement. Is there a personality trait you've intentionally worked on minimizing or eliminating? Impatience. I've learned that not everything happens instantly, and good things often take time. How does your personality come through in the way you express affection in your relationships? I'm expressive and affectionate, using both words and gestures to let my loved ones know they're appreciated. Can you recall a moment when someone's personality positively surprised you? 
I met a colleague who seemed reserved at first, but their kindness and generosity truly surprised me over time. What's a personality trait you believe is crucial for effective teamwork? Communication. A team works best when everyone is on the same page, sharing ideas and updates openly. How does your personality affect your approach to personal challenges or obstacles? I tackle challenges with a problem-solving mindset, breaking them down into manageable steps and staying optimistic. Can you think of a personality trait that has made you more adaptable to different cultures? Open-mindedness. It has allowed me to appreciate and learn from diverse perspectives and traditions. How does your personality affect your decision to take risks, whether in your personal or professional life? I'm a calculated risk taker. I weigh the potential outcomes and take risks when the potential benefits align with my goals. What's a personality trait you've noticed becoming more pronounced as you've gained more life experience? Wisdom. Life's experiences have taught me valuable lessons, and I approach situations with a deeper understanding. How does your personality influence your approach to resolving conflicts in your personal relationships? Smith. I prefer open communication and active listening, aiming to find common ground and strengthen the relationship. Can you think of a personality trait that has been particularly helpful in your creative pursuits? I'd say my imagination. It allows me to explore unconventional ideas and bring a unique perspective to my creative projects. How does your personality come through in the way you approach time management? I'm organized and value efficiency, ensuring that I make the most of my time while also leaving room for spontaneity. Is there a personality trait you've observed in others that you consciously try to avoid? I try to avoid close-mindedness. I believe in being receptive to new ideas and perspectives. How does your personality affect your approach to giving compliments? I give compliments genuinely and specifically, highlighting qualities that I truly appreciate in others. Can you recall a time when someone's personality clashed with yours, but you found a way to collaborate effectively? I had a co-worker with a very different work style, but by finding common goals and compromising, we managed to work well together. What's a personality trait you think is important for maintaining mental and emotional well-being? Self-compassion. It's crucial to be kind to oneself, especially during challenging times. How does your personality come into play when you are in a leadership role? I lead with empathy and transparency, fostering a collaborative and positive work environment. Can you think of a personality trait that has been both a strength and a challenge in your life? Independence. While it has allowed me to achieve personal goals, at times, it makes it challenging to ask for help. If you had to choose one word to encapsulate your overall personality, what would it be? I'd say resilient. Life throws challenges, but I've learned to bounce back stronger each time.